Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. My name is Chase Tuning and in today's special video, I'm going over some men's grooming techniques, specifically my top five favorite racers. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. My name is Chase Tuning and I cannot wait to dive into all things beards today, specifically how to keep them looking your best. This isn't a shaving video, so we're not doing razors or beard trimmers. <sighs> Yeah, all right. All right. It's too close. Right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? All jokes aside, my name is Chase Chuni, and I cannot wait to dive into today's video with you all about my top five favorite daily men's fragrances, colognes. Really, the top five ways I think you, you should smell, you can smell, and some options to keep you looking and feeling your best. All right, so let's just keep things simple. Number one, we're all guys here, right? We like things simple, we like routine. If you're like me, you really like your routine. And I need something that I can trust and rely on day in, day out to keep me smelling good from the morning to the evening that's fresh, that's invigorating, and isn't really overpowering for myself, my coworkers, or really anybody else around me. That's why I think you always need a tried and true staple standard smell. And for me, that is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is very light, it's very crisp, it's very refreshing, it's very kind of, well, it's fitting for me right here in LA. It's almost like a by the beach smell. Actually, if I, if I remember correctly, all of their advertisements or commercials are in the water, on the beaches, light blue, the name says it all. It's crisp, it's light, it's not overwhelming, and uh, you don't smell like you just walked out of a body spray or aftershave video, all right? So Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, my number one tried and true. Maybe I should write poetry about cologne. Don't worry, I'm not gonna write a book or poems about cologne, okay? I wouldn't do that to you. All right, after I've got my tried and true, I need uh, really a secondary tried and true. When I'm going out, particularly my Friday evening or maybe a midweek evening going out, date night or business meeting, I want something that's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of robustness to it. Robust, robustness, robustness, -ness? Anyways, I want something that's just gonna separate me from the daytime and get me into that evening mood, all right? This is where Chanel Sport comes in. This is actually Chanel Allure Sport. This is, really one of my favorite scents. It, it really gets me in the mood. And that's what I love about fragrances is that it really ties in memories. It ties in that emotional feeling because scent is one of your strongest sensations tied to memory, which is why I think we always like to go back to things that help us feel good and look good. And if we smell good, odds are we've got a great memory associated to that or you have a bad one. And that's where we wanna keep you out of like bathing in the aftershave and body spray, all right? so. Chanel Allure Sport is exactly what I need, what I want, what I'm looking for when I'm stepping out on a night on the town. All right, so we've gone through the day-to-day, -day, the special occasion, the semi-day-to-day -day slash special occasion. But when you really have a special occasion, for me personally, I like a staple smell, okay? I like something that's gonna help get my mind in the right lane in terms of this isn't a normal Monday through Friday, this isn't my typical date night. Uh, I want my brain and really everyone around me to know that, hey, this is a different situation. So I have a kind of a next level going out smell. This is, I will say, right in between like a date night or just like Friday night and not quite a really formal event. I want something a little bit in between. And so for that smell for me, it is Pasha by Cartier. This has a little bit of spice to it, but not on the same level like that Chanel Sport. Uh, it's just that, it's sporty. But this one, it's the right amount of sophistication, a little bit of fun, a little bit of spice. And uh, you could really, honestly, this is like a good cardigan or your favorite pair of blue jeans. You can easily dress it up, easily dress it down. I've gotten away with wearing this, wearing uh, this Pasha on, really get to kind of go against my own rule here on a Friday night, date night, uh, if I wanna maybe, I don't know, set the mood in a different way, have my wife get the hint. But Pasha by Cartier is a great in-between, your typical going out and not quite a formal event, all right? This thing is very subtle, and I will say that this one specifically, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a whole lot, it lasts a really long time, which is good to keep in mind if you have an event that maybe is gonna keep you out for several hours, okay? You wanna keep looking, feeling, and smelling your best. 
Number three for me, Pasha by Cartier. One, two, three, four. All right, so we've covered the bases. You've got your traditional go-tos. You've got an in-between going out, in-between formal event. Lastly, that's where I'm going to step up with number four for the formal event. Four for formal. It's almost like I planned that. This is what I've used for, for years and years. This is Legend by Mont Blanc. Not only, well, let me just say that uh, anything Hugh Jackman endorses, I get behind as well. You might have seen Hugh on a lot of their Mont Blanc ads for uh, pens and colognes lately. But Legend by Mont Blanc is exactly everything I'm looking for in a, in a powerful scent, in a robust scent, a little bit of spice, but really it has, um, it's got that like executive level smell to it. It's very, it's very powerful, I think. This is what I would imagine like, you know, your C-level executives wearing, or for me, I'm not like that. I'm self-employed, so maybe I am my own C-level executive. I should update my LinkedIn. This is exactly what you're looking for in a formal going out smell. If you've got a big impression you need to make, if you've got a gala, uh, charity event, or just a big night out on the town, really nice dinner, maybe uh, you're trying to close that deal, this is what you're gonna be looking for. This has served me so well over the years, it has lasted a long time. And with this one, I will say, unlike the Cartier, I actually do need, I would say, like three to four sprays compared to that Cartier. Honestly, I can get away with about two, and it lasts me hours and hours. This one, a little bit on the neck either side, right on the pulse points here to uh, help radiate that odor, that smell, that positive odor as your pulse increases and your heart beats. Uh, and then, as always, a little bit on either palm right here, so no matter where your extremities are, near or far, hopefully nearer for you guys, uh, get up there on the neck level. And this one's gonna treat you right. This is exactly what I'm looking for when I want a formal going out smell, Legend by Mont Blanc. And a little pro tip there, keep in mind, when you are going through and picking these top five scents for you, I know we've only gotten through four, keep in mind the occasion. The occasion should always kind of dictate the smell. If it's light, keep it light. If you're just going out day to day, running errands, going to work, keep it light, keep it fresh. You don't want something that's overpowering. But as the seriousness of your day, your evening, your events, your lifestyle progresses, so should your smell, so should your cologne. And for me, personal opinion here is you wanna go from a more fresh smell for the more relaxed events, and as you get into more formal events, big occasions, dates, dinner meetings, things like that, you wanna kinda of go from fresh to kinda of like that spice to a robust fullness. Um, again, formal occasions, you wanna seal the deal, you don't want to send them away holding their nose, okay? So tone it down a little bit, nothing overwhelming. Okay, so we've done one, two, three, four scents, four types, four varieties, four areas of your day, areas of your life that I think can really help pick the right scent. Number five for me, well, total honesty, it's a floater. I, I like to have my four staples for the four types of events that I may be attending. Um, that fifth one, true to really a lot of things that I do in my life, is I like to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And that is where the video sponsor, Scentbird, is stepping in and they help me out so much. I've been using these guys for, for years now. Not only are they TSA friendly, they're very sleek, very sexy, very portable, and they come in a variety of different scents. In fact, most of the ones that you just saw here, you can get in these travel vials. So it looks like this. They've got a lot of different colors. Comes in uh, black, blue, greens, coppers all kinds of rainbow colors here, and uh, it opens up very, very easily. Quick application, fits very easily in my dot kit, my travel bag, or my backpack. You just open it up like this. Let's see if you guys can see that. Just one little twist here. And if you ever want to check out really what you got in the tube, you can slide it right out, you keep the case, pop in your refills, it's that easy. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, okay? So lately for me, my fifth, my uncomfortable one, the one that's kind of getting me into a different scent, different mindset, different mood, is Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. This is, uh, I would equate this to kind of that in-between a Friday night and a formal one. This reminds me of like an in-between of, yeah, well that's nice. That's like an in-between of the Chanel Sport and the Pasha by Cartier. This is what I would use and have been using for like a Friday, Saturday night, or even during the daytime if I'm going somewhere a little bit more formal outside of just running to the gym, running errands. Um, this one's great. Dolce & Gabbana is incredible. Uh, that's actually who makes the first one, my everyday scent, that light blue. 
So try them out. Scentbird is hooking it up. They make it easy. They make it TSA friendly. You can pick from a myriad of different scents for different moods, different mindsets, and uh, it's going to work on your travel. It's going to work to just get you out of your comfort zone. You can try different scents. Hell, get one for every day of the week, all right? So there you have it. Those are my top five everyday colognes for men. Now I understand your day may look different from mine. Hell, even my Monday through Sunday can vary week to week. And uh, I need to be able to be on the fly. I need to be able to have a scent, to have a mood really to go with the appropriate setting. So those are my top five everyday colognes for men. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know yours. Let me know if uh, you have anything that you think would work better for the occasions that I recommended or how you go about picking your scents. Trust me, when it comes to how you smell, how you even smell yourself and how others smell you, really can, can really, it, it can start the conversation before you ever open your mouth, okay? Because people are gonna smell that when you walk in the door, when you're standing next to them on the metro or in the Uber, and uh, smell is very powerful. So why not harness that to your benefit, okay? Thank you all very much for watching the video. Leave some love, like it, comment down below your favorite colognes, uh, or maybe ladies, let us know what you like your men to smell like, when, where, and why. Thank you again to Scentbird for this video. You guys definitely need to check them out. All information will be linked down in the comment box below. Try them out, you will not be disappointed.